right, Algebra 1, Lesson 38. This is on ratio problems. Now, probably two years ago, and even last year, you learned this. 4 over any letter equals 25 over, 21 over 5. Okay, do you remember how I taught you how to figure out what M is? Times 4, it's been a while. four times 5. Okay, so you cross multiply, right? 5 times 4 is 20. M times 21 is 21 times M. And then you just make them equal. See how that was equal? Mm -hmm. You just keep them as equal. So this is saying 21 times what equals um, 20. Okay, now that didn't really make sense in our brains, but you're actually still, you're, that's what you're supposed to figure out. So trying to get the M by itself. So times 21 becomes, when it goes across the equal sign, divided by, divided by 21. So M equals 20 over 21. That was moved. Okay? And that's pretty much um, the final answer, unless you want to find the um, uh, decimal for it or anything like that, but this is the answer. Okay? Now, they're going to take it a little step further, and they're going to try to teach you um, to use a ratio to then figure out something. So listen to this one. The ratio of pigs to goats... In the barnyard was seven to five. Seven to five. Pigs, goats. Okay? So pigs to goats was seven to five. And then it says this. If there were 91 pigs, how many goats were there? Okay. We're kind of making a, a um, well, a ratio. Okay? So we know that there are seven pigs to every five goats. Okay, and then they tell us there's a total of 91 pigs. So, we don't know. I'm going to put a G for goats. Okay, now do you see how we set that up? Pigs to goat, pigs to goat, mm -hmm. and you equal them. Okay, and then you do exactly what we were just now doing. Okay, 5 times 91 is 455. I cheated a little bit. Okay, and then 7 times G is 7 times G. So 7 times what equals 455? Now, we want to get the G by itself, so times 7 comes across the equal sign. And since it's times 7, it's going to be divided by 7. So G equals 455 divided by 7, which is going to give us the answer of 65 goats. Okay? So there, that's how you would do that, okay? Last one. All right, listen to this problem. In the Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Okay. All right, so last one. In the same backyard, the ratio of chicken to ducks was 9 to 4. Chicken, ducks. Then it says there are 108 chickens. How many ducks are there? Now, you don't want to ever make the mistake and put 108 down at the bottom and then put D to find ducks, okay? You always want to have chickens, the how many chickens there are, ducks, and how many ducks there are. So you don't want to switch this up. So they told me that there were 108 chickens, which that's what we've got here. Chickens, chickens. You want them on the same level, okay? And then four ducks, and then we don't know how many ducks total. So this is the total, and this is the ratio version, okay? So we've got the ratio 9 to 4, 9 chicken.